hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem square root of x square root of 2 equals 4 the first thing we do is to square both sides so we have square root of x square root of 2 to the power of 2 this is equal to 4 to the power of 2. Now, this square root and the square will cancel each other so that we have x root 2 to be equal to 16. Now, remember, we are looking for the value of x, right? So that means we are going to square this one as well. So if we square this, then we also square the right. So that we have x to the power of 2, which is x squared. Then these two, root 2, we still take 2 as the power. So it can now cancel the square root, can now cancel the square. So we multiply this by 2, and it's equal to 16 squared is 256. Now what happens is... I, I will need to divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. This is going with this, right? So this means that x squared is equal to 256 divided by 2 and that is 128. Now the next thing is we are having square now, right? So this means that we need to take the square root of both sides. So we have the square root of x squared, and that will be equal to the square root of 128. But it will have positive or negative value there. So that this can go with this. And then x is now free, and it's equal to positive or negative square root of square root of 128. But know that 128 is not a perfect square. x from here will be equal to plus or minus. 128 is the same thing as 64 multiplied by 2. Right? Now, 64 here is a perfect square. So our x is equal to plus or minus. Square root of 64 is 8. Then we have root 2. So this means that x is either equal to 8 root 2 or negative 8 root 2 okay so this becomes the value of x but i want us to check to see if this will be correct the original equation is x root 2 to be equal to 4 right okay so let's put in this value of um, x so this becomes square root of 8 root 2 that is for the x then we have root 2 again over here so will this give us 8 okay by the way will this give us 4 rather we can have square root of 4 times 2 here is giving us 8 root 4 because we can multiply these two now this 4 here is a perfect square so we are going to have from um, square root of 8 multiplied by 2 because square root of 4 is 2 and this means we have square root of 16 which is equal to 4 and we had 4 over there right so this is to say that we are very correct to say that x is 8 root 2 but then let's use this negative and see if it will still give us positive 4 okay so in place of x now I'll be writing negative 8 root 2. Then multiply by root 2. So the question is, will this give us positive 8? That's what we are looking at, right? Will this give us positive 4? Now, this means we have um, square root of negative 8 multiplied by square root of square root of 4 because 8 times 2 i mean 2 times 2 will give us 4 root 2 times root 2 will give us root 4 
now we find the square root of um, 4 so we have square root of negative 8 multiplied by 2 and that will give us square root of negative 16 okay and then this square root of negative 16 is not giving us positive 4 because of this negative here okay so this is to say that this value this value of x which is minus 8 root 2 does not satisfy the the equation so our x to be equal to 8 root 2 satisfies thank you for watching